Well, hello, welcome to the glass studio. We're playing with Frit today. And I did some white, so I'm just gonna put those in some little jars. Make sure that if you do this, they're all the same coefficient of expansion. And this is a 96. I did some blue already. So I'm gonna do a few of these, put them in separate jars doing a couple of seascape pictures so we're going to need a lot of blues and whites all right actually those let's just put together so close really those are the same size close enough okay very nice okay here is my frit machine and would you like to see how that works i can do a little bit more white So, first of all, what I did was just take a little piece of the white. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Now, how do you know that that's the same system, 96? Well, because when we bought this all from the same company, back when we were buying everything from the same company, this was part of that um part of that that we bought and oh. so um and it was from a company that is no longer <laughs> no longer in business but i know what was the, some of the old glass that we bought so this one i'm pretty sure okay okay so now i'm going to get a towel sorry i'm all over the place here and i'm going to be on the floor okay here we go. Get my hammer and just whack this. Wow, that's a real technical. <laughs> okay. And then I'll put my screens together. Starting with the very smallest hole that in first and then the next one a little bit bigger a little bit bigger okay so I'm going to use that in a minute okay so this I'm going to put my pieces of glass in this little frit machine Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go back on the floor again. And here we go. Oh, forgot something. You stay. Okay, this needs a mask. A mask and Glasses. Okay, we're good. Yes, that is loud. <laughs> All right, I'm pour it in here. Shake that first one. Gives me the coarsest. Oh, yeah, this is on still. And this 
is the finest powder. Okay, so I'll show you. So these are some of the pictures that I'm using. I think I'm gonna do this one next. So I'll use the coarsest ones for here, the glacier, and then, you know, in some of these bits of, of ice, and then I can, you know, use the different colors of blues and, and maybe a little bit of brown in here to, um, to use this, to put it together as a frit picture. So that's kind of how you make frit, and uh, as we go, we'll fill you in. Okay, thanks. Good video. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to tell you, I am kind of nervous about this. So I've done a frit, um, I think it's called a frit portrait. And I've never done this before. So I've just used different kinds of frit, um, different colors, all the same 96 coefficient of expansion. And I've just kind of designed this um, picture. Here's the, the picture that I was looking at to do that and so it is going in the kiln yikes <laughs> all right here we go <sighs> okay i think we decided that uh what was it 1350 was our those are your samples there oh here are our samples that's what i was looking for and we did these at 1350 and we kind of liked how they worked so i think that's what we're going to go with right dear okay all right wish me luck now the lid is held open with a block so that we can have proper ventilation and I'm going to show what we've set our kiln at so first on program one it just goes up to 1000 at the full rate Are and you then on the program Finally, it goes up to 1350. And there we go. And that's what what we went up for for the uh, the whole project. Each one of them went up that far. We just took it up to temp full temperature and then let it cool naturally. Now these pieces were an experiment for me. I hadn't done a lot of frit work as of yet. And so what I learned from this is that I would add a lot more frit. When I put it together, I thought, okay, that's pretty vivid enough. But then as it, um, as it is in the kiln and melts together, you realize you really need to add a big pile uh, and so next time i think i would do that a little differently i would add more frit to make the design more vivid okay well these frit designs have been very special to me they were uh, commissioned by a friend who was in uh, one of the art board um, groups that i am in and um, she was, she knew that her time on this earth was short and she wanted to do these three, um, these couple of frit designs for um, one of her daughters. They had gone to a, a trip in, to Alaska and uh, these designs were from photographs that she had taken um, in Alaska. And so um, while I was working on them, I just kept her in my mind. And uh, it was, she's a lovely lady. And so it was just so fun to be thinking of her while I was putting this frit together. And uh, so I was able to give them to her. 
and she gave them to her daughter and not long after that uh, she died. So those things are very important to me which only goes to prove that every piece you do not only is it just a design that you come up with, not only is it a something that's a decoration for a house but each of the panels and each of the designs that I do are very special. I want that connection and that communication with the artist and to have that communication with Pat was special to me and something that I will remember the rest of my life. So I hope that this uh, encourages you to do some kiln work of your own and to also encourage you to be friends with, to communicate with your um, the people that you build windows for. It's, it's a special thing that we have as artists to be able to do that. So be sure to follow us. We have a Patreon station uh, that you can uh, join with us. We'd love to have you on there. We put up just different things once in a while that will help you with your artwork and with your creativity. So thanks for being with us today. Have a wonderful day.